guys we are back with another video if you are new here my name is sammy and we're the mermaid gang this is where you can come and suspend your disbelief i am your favorite manifestation coach i'm everyone's favorite manifestation coach and um if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever's between you and your manifestation go ahead and go in my description box right here down below and there will be two websites doesn't matter which one you click on both of them you can buy my coaching um i only am selling five emails right now because that's that's as much as i can do right now uh because again i am trying to like slow down on coaching but i don't want to completely stop just yet as i said in the other videos we have an sp challenge going in the vip group if you would like to join that that is also on that same website so Today's video I want to talk about, I have a list of videos on my phone. Like when I get a video idea, I write it down or I, you know, type it. Um, today I want to talk about the fact that you don't have to affirm in present or past tense. I mentioned in the previous video about, you know, a little bit about if you're a Christian, you always ask me about the Bible. Um, the Bible says decree a thing. So let's talk about kind of that. This is not going to be about Christians. This is not a Christian based video. I'm just saying we referenced decreeing and I'm just going to talk about like decreeing no matter what, what, what you are, what you believe in. It's just decreeing based in manifestation. Okay. Don't freak out. Um, basically I do this all the time. I decide you can decide that something is going to go in your favor that something is going to happen it doesn't mean it's going to push it way off in the future i used to not want to affirm for things um not in present or past tense but again my teachings evolve i'm not really a teacher i like i coach you guys yeah but I'm still, this channel is me sharing my experiences, my journey with you, telling you how to do these things the easiest way possible because I've done it. Um, you can decree a thing. You can affirm that something is going to happen and it's not going to push it far in the future. And if it makes you feel better, if it implies to you far in the future, which we know that what it implies to you is different for everyone um, to me it just means it's going to happen you know within the next couple days but if you're not someone who thinks that way you can literally say um, they're going to this week or this month or that something is going to happen this week something is going to happen this month um, and affirm it that way because sometimes it is just too far um, too unbelievable to people to say they already have something or have already experienced something that they haven't or that they are currently experiencing something that they are not such as let's talk about text messages um for some people it's hard for them to really imply to their mind that it's happening now like if you're affirming that someone's constantly texting you for some people for some people remember well, every time I make a video it's not for the entire crowd it is just for the people that it applies to please don't freak out for some people it can be harder for them to really live in the end with this for them to really affirm and it, and it seem like this thing is really happening not emotionally feel it real but mentally feel it real it's hard because it's not happening or hasn't ever happened or hasn't been happening for a long time. So something you can do is go, go ahead and decide that the person is going to text you. They're going to text me um, or that they want to and they're going to. Um, such and such is going to text me. They're going to text me. Yeah, they're going to text me this week. They're going to text me this week. They are thinking about me right now they're gonna text me this week they are thinking about me right now they're gonna text me this week they're gonna ask me out this weekend they're thinking about me right now they are going to ask me out this weekend they want to ask me out this weekend they're going to ask me out this weekend 
Do you get the point? Do you get the point? Just loop it as like as if it's like it's a mental conversation with someone. Yeah, they're gonna text me this week. They're gonna text. Another thing I like to say is any minute now, because if you don't want it, to, if you don't even want to set a time, because that causes too much resistance, you can literally say any minute now. They're yeah, they're gonna text me any minute now. They're gonna call me any minute now. They're gonna ask me out any minute now. The money's gonna be in my bank any minute now. That job's going to call me any minute now. I'm going to get accepted any minute now. Any minute now. Because that implies it's literally going to happen any minute now. So very, very, very soon. But there's no set time on it to create resistance. Do you get what I'm saying? So affirming past tense or present tense not your only options any minute now they're gonna text me any minute now they're gonna call me any minute now they're gonna ask me out any minute now they're gonna propose to me any minute now I'm gonna get approved any minute now I'm gonna have an influx of orders whatever whatever it is that you're manifesting doesn't matter it's gonna happen any minute now you don't have to affirm as if it's already happened or is currently happening if that causes too much resistance I'm trying to give you guys enough options that I know work that can release resistance for everybody who needs it because some of you are simply only you're only struggling you're only still on this journey and not having everything you want because of the resistance this is something I want you to remember also, when you compare yourself to other people or you hold me to an extremely high standard and compare me or compare yourself to me and if I don't accomplish something quick enough, which is why I don't even share my shit anymore because it puts so much pressure on you, you just think that you, you can't do it. Everybody is different. Everyone's journey is different. Everyone, even each manifestation is different. Like, there are manifestations that I can get in a day or so. But then, there are manifestations that I have more resistance to that I have to build up to. Just like everyone else. I, I'm still human. I don't know if you guys forgot. But, you know, take me off that fucking pedestal, please. Because you hold me to way too high of a standard. I am still a human. I still have different subjects that I have to work through. The same with you and everyone else. Everyone has different things that have different amounts of resistance. So, any way that we can release that resistance or choose the path with the least resistance, is that's what we need to do. So, if it helps you, instead of affirming as if it's already happening, if that causes resistance for you, then take that resistance away by saying it's going to happen any minute now. Because that really just, one, keeps your attitude good keeps you motivated to you know affirm it and be thinking of it that way and it doesn't put pressure on you that discourages you because it's like okay I know this can happen any minute now anything can happen any minute now any manifestation this is what a lot of people don't think about your manifestation can literally happen in any moment like any moment so while you're sitting here sulking it could be about to happen you know so just understand and just keep the mindset of any minute now it's gonna happen any minute now they're gonna call me any minute now they're gonna text me any minute now they're gonna tell me they love me any minute now they're gonna follow me on social media any minute now I was gonna make a whole video on recording your affirmations too because I know a lot of people keep asking me that I don't have a problem with you recording your affirmations I don't think it deserves I don't think I could do a whole video on that so I'll just talk about it now you can record your affirmations and listen to them at night it's actually a very good idea my only point is that I constantly make to people who ask me this is you still have to think as if through the day when you think of your desire you still have to not think against it okay so if you if it helps you to record your affirmations I'm not even against all subliminals I had bad experiences with subliminals a lot of people have had bad experiences with subliminals 
not subliminals, subliminal makers because you don't know who has bad intentions, who, you know, puts bad, bad shit in there. You can't hear it. So, I mean, if you have a trusted subliminal person that you know and you've had good experience with, fine, do it. Listen to them. If you want to record your own affirmations and listen to them all night, fine, great, do that. But remember, no matter what you use, you still, through the day, must think as if, if you're thinking of your desire, what you think about consistently becomes true. And yes, while doing those things at night, you're thinking of it subconsciously, Still through the day, you can't be thinking against it, okay? Because you just don't want that hot and cold with anything. So just make sure that even if you do that, you're still putting the work in through the day. Because it doesn't, it's not the magic trick that's going to manifest everything for you and you can just think whatever you want through the day. That's not the case. You still have to think as it, because what you think about consistently becomes true. Okay? All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.